So in my previous video, I showed you guys how to create a very simple landing page slash website where you can use to promote a product. You can promote any product from any affiliate network. And this one allows the user to enter their name and their email where you can capture their names and email and retarget them the same product or similar products. Okay. This is a strategy that's used by affiliate marketers, super affiliate marketers. I use it as well. It's very, very effective. And this also helps you build an email list where you can retarget and retarget and retarget. Okay. Now today I'm going to show you how to run an ad campaign where you can use to promote these kinds of websites, landing pages. So you can reach a much larger audience. You can get your audience much faster. You can get more data about your website, about your landing page. This is actually by far the best marketing strategy compared to free traffic. Okay. And also showed you how to do free traffic. So be sure to check out that video. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to run an ad. We're going to be using Google ads. It's going to be a step-by-step -step video. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and turn on notifications so that you don't miss videos like this. So the first thing that you want to do is to head over to Google and you're just going to search AdWords and you're going to click the first link, which is this right here. Once you click on that, it's going to take you to this page over here. All right. So here is where you're going to sign up. Just use your normal Gmail account, your normal Gmail email address. Once you have done that, it's going to then take you to this page. Okay. So here is where you can now create your campaigns. This is my demo account. But if you have multiple ads running, you're going to see all your ads over here. Okay. All your campaigns. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on create campaign, click on new campaign. All right. So here you're going to be asked what is your objective or what is your campaign objective. Now, what you want to select is this one here, website traffic. However, you can select other types of methods. These other methods also work. Now, if you want to drive sales, so let's say you have a physical product, you can use this to drive sales. This is best for, you know, uh, e-commerce stores. If you want leads, this also works well. So these two are more likely to, uh, to go together. But normally I use website traffic because this is what I want to do. I want to direct people to my website slash landing page. So I'm going to click on this and then you're going to click on continue. So here you have your uh, campaign type. Okay. So you're going to click on search. This is going to allow you to get in front of high intent customers at the right time on Google search. Now you have these two, you have these two options. You have search and you have performance marks. Now these two work well. So for performance marks, this one will allow uh, Google to, you know, reach audience on multiple platforms. Okay. Uh, as you can see, reach audiences across all Google with a single campaign. So what Google is going to do, it's going to show your ad on Gmail. It's also going to show it on YouTube as well and also on websites. All right. But this one tends to cost you more money. So I would go with this one here, search. So you're going to ignore this one here first and then you're going to click. Are uh, you going to head over to campaign name? Here you can enter your campaign name. Okay. You can just say maybe something like uh, the product was called medicinal garden. So I'll just say medicinal ad. All right. Then click on continue. All right, so now it's going to take you to bidding. So here is going to ask you what you want to focus on. Uh, if you click on this drop down, you have different options. Okay, you can select conversions. You have conversion value, you have clicks, and then you have other features. Now I normally go with this one here. So I'm just going to select conversions. Now here you can set a target cost per action. Okay, although this one is optional, but it allows you to actually set a certain limit that you can allow Google to use on your ad. All right, now if you're not really sure about this, just ignore it, okay, because it's actually optional. And then uh, you have customer acquisition. Now this one here is only bid for new customers. All right, so just ignore this. You don't want to check this because it's only going to bid it to new customers. So just click on next. Next, you have campaign settings. Here you have network search and you have display search. Now these ones are checked by default, so you don't really want to change anything here. And then next you have locations. So here's where you can set the countries that you want to target, okay? So by default, it's going to show you all countries. Now you don't want all countries. So you're going to select enter another location. All right. Now, normally you want to select tier one countries. Tier one countries are like United States, UK, Canada, Australia, and also New Zealand. All right. But you can just target even one country. Let's say, for example, United States. Okay. You just type, you just type the first letters. This will pop out and then you select target. If you want to target other countries, again, you can just do the same thing enter Canada, all right, click on target, uh, maybe Australia, okay, target, 
um, UK, enter UK, click on target, and New Zealand, right? And target, okay? So these are mainly English-speaking countries, all right? So once you're done with that, you can scroll down here. Language, of course, is English. That's by default. You have audience segments. So you're going to click on this. So this section here actually allows you to, you know, target specific audience. All right. So you're going to click on browse. So first you can target who they are. These are demographics. You can click on this. Uh, so what kind of people would be interested in um, this product? Okay. Medicinal gardening kit. All right. So we can come back over here and you can look at parental status. Uh, let's see what parental status is. So it can be parents. All right. You can select parents because mainly people who are interested in uh, this DIY back, uh, backyard gardening are usually elderly people. Okay. I tend to think it's the elderly people who are more interested in this because even the person who's promoting this is actually an elderly lady. She looks someone who is in uh, maybe uh, 50s, there, 40s, late 40s. Okay. So parents yeah you can target parents parents of uh teenagers okay so these are people who are likely to be teenagers people in their uh, late 40s or 50s okay so you can select that right you have marital status so of course uh, not of course but these are people who are also maybe they were married before and probably they're now single or they're in a relationship or married so this is uh you can say subjective but i'm going to go with married okay and then education uh, some of this you can just ignore maybe you can select highest level of education um okay let me close this one here uh home ownership so definitely these are people who are homeowners you also want to target people who actually who are who can actually buy this easily these are people who have money all right and then you have employment okay so employment uh you can choose to ignore this but uh there's also company size. This, maybe they have a company. Okay. So if it's someone who has a very large company with over 10K employees. So this one is a very large, comp uh, very large employer, large employer, small employer. Okay. You can go with this, but I'm just going to ignore this one here. And then uh, I think we're done with that. So this is our demography, homeowners, right? These are people who are married and they are parents of teenagers. Okay. So next we have targeting. All right, so targeting, uh, you can select because this is actually now going to select this, it's going to target what you've actually chosen here, okay? And then down here, you can uh, you have broad match keywords. So, what this is, it says here broad match keywords work with smart bidding to help you reach your campaign goals, okay? So, here you have two options you have on, so you can turn it on or off. So, if you turn it on, it's going to use broad match keywords for your entire campaign. So, broad match will be a wider type of keyword okay rather than a specific type of keyword so this is actually uh, optional uh, i would leave it on and then i would click on next all right so now you have keywords and ads okay again you can change the name of your ad over here now normally just leave that and then here you have uh, your url you can enter your url if you have a specific place where you've set your keywords but most people don't so you can just ignore that same thing with here so here's where you enter your keywords. Now there are different places where you can get keywords, okay? But the best place that you can get keywords is just by Google itself, okay? Don't let anyone lie to you. The best place you can get keywords is by Google because Google is where most people will do their search. So Google has the best data for this. Now with Google, they have different tools. They actually have a tool called a keyword planner where you can find keywords, short tail and long tail keywords, okay? So to use that tool, they actually have it here. You can click on tools and settings, all right? And then you have keyword planner. All right, now you want to open this in a new tab, all right? It's then going to take you to this page. So you're going to click on this one here. And then here, you're going to deselect your country, okay? It's going to have your default country, so deselect that, okay? You're also going to close it here. So again, you're going to target the same countries that you had chosen earlier, okay? So for me, it was United States, UK, Canada, and New Zealand, all right? Now, this is just an example. I'm just going to use United States for now, okay? And then I'll click on save, okay? And then now I'm going to enter my keyword over here. Now, I'm going to type medicinal gardening, all right? And then I'll now click on get results, all right? 
so here we have our table of data of keywords so we have the original one which is this one here and this table actually shows you different things like average monthly searches uh, average monthly searches so medicinal gardening gets about 10 to 100 uh, monthly searches and the competition is quite high okay so these are things that you also want to pay attention and then down here you can see you have other keywords so medicinal plants list this one gets 100 to 1k uh, you have herbal plants list 100 to 1k so these are all the keywords that you can use all right all this it goes all the way down here and it actually has over uh, 155 okay so these ones here down here have a good amount of searches 100 to 1k uh, some of them have medium a competition and the rest are actually high so which is still fine for us since we're just running an ad and then we're going to now select we can just use the first one okay you can just copy this keyword come back to our ad campaign we paste it there okay so this is now what you're going to do you're going to copy all these keywords just like this okay herbal plants list all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy all these keywords all right so we have our keywords here now you can add as many as you want uh, i'm not sure how much how many google how many keywords google allows but i'm just going to use this for now you have an option over here to add more keywords as you can see show your ads more often to people searching for what your business offers okay now this one will allow google to enter other keywords which are more um more popular with people who are actually searching for what your business offers this is optional you can either use this alone okay keywords that you've actually searched by yourself or you can just click on apply all okay now if you click on apply all uh, google is going to add its own keywords okay it's going to add other additional keywords all right so anyway once you are done you can scroll down here now here you have your ads here is where you can enter the url of your landing page okay slash website so let's come back over here uh, we can copy this and come back to our ad and then just paste it right there okay now here you have your display path just ignore this i usually ignore this um here you have uh, here you have your headings and these are the keywords that google recommends that you use on your headings so you have the first one here your first headline you have your second headline and you have your third headline okay so three headlines are what are required you don't actually have to enter all of this but you actually have to enter the first three headlines so what you can do we're going to include these keywords so we have the first one which is digitalist plant all right so i can say here digitalist plants benefits or gardening all right next we have theme hub or time hub plant i'm not sure how i've never even heard about this but i'm just going to use it here so i can say time hub plant so you can say gardening or growing or benefits uh then lastly we have what uh names of hubs let's see we have hub seeds hubs list so for now i can add my own i can say maybe maybe grow herbal plants all right so i'm just going to have these three keywords and then down here we have our descriptions now for descriptions you can actually use chat gpt to write for you yeah google ads descriptions we can come to chat gpt and just say write me google ads descriptions including the keywords medicinal gardening all right click on enter all right so we have the first one transform your space with medicinal gardening so we didn't really need this is the title what we need is this discover the therapeutic power of medicinal gardening our expert tips and a wide selection of medicinal plants all right so let me see if this has surpassed the character number all right so it's gone beyond the number so let's remove start your journey today actually we can just have that alone okay just leave it like this okay let's come to the next one which was uh, explore the world of medicinal gardening okay you can just copy this alone all right come back here and we just paste that okay so you see how easy that was now we are done with our uh, headlines and our description for our ad this is really the most task that you do here on google actually creating your titles and uh, descriptions all right so once you're done with that now before you continue as you can see this is how it's going to look like okay so you have the name of your link here 
okay the name of your landing page and then you have your title here now this normally changes google is going to change it and as you can see it's going to cycle it uh, with the two titles that you've included here same thing with the description okay so once you're done with that you can just come down here and click on next which will now lastly take you to your budget okay uh, first we're going to confirm it's us as the owner of the account now google sometimes does that so just make sure to verify that you're the owner once you're done you have your average daily budget so this is what you're going to spend every day okay 15 dollars. now you can go ahead and change this you can reduce this but this is what google recommends for optimal performance all right that's why i always recommend if you're really serious with affiliate marketing you actually have to set a budget okay if you have to save up you can just save up just make sure you have a good amount of money that you're willing to spend on ads okay i know it's intimidating i know it's uh something that you probably don't want to hear you don't really want to spend ads but if you really want to be successful with affiliate marketing guys you actually have to spend money okay you have to spend money on ads so again this is recommended so if you have this amount well and good if you don't have you can still reduce it all right and google gives you different options here you have this one here 15 you have 19 you have 12 or you can even set a custom a custom budget so you can have something like maybe ten dollars okay let's change this so ten ten dollars you can spend ten dollars a day if you're willing now i wouldn't recommend going below this because you're not really going to get much data so at least ten dollars is what you can start with once you've set your budget you can scroll down here and click on next all right so google says our campaign is ready to publish now sometimes it's going to give you errors if there are some errors if there are some spaces that you have not filled on your ad it's going to tell you you can also see the overview of your campaign this is the name of your campaign your campaign or such type uh, website traffic page views our uh, bidding was um, to maximize conversions okay we have all this data that we actually chose all right now once you're done you can just click on publish campaign you will then have google verifying your you know your account and your ad it's going to take just a few hours after that you're going to now see your ad starting to appear on platforms okay on google so this is how you can easily do it guys again just have a set budget okay no one is forcing you to do campaign ads but again if you're really serious you can just maybe borrow some money or just save up to run your ads campaign okay because once you start running ads you're going to see the beauty of it you're going to see the results you're going to be happy and then you're going to now start you know running more ads and doing more ads for different campaigns different products and that is how you're going to be successful with affiliate marketing now if you want to see how i created this ad if you didn't check out my previous video click on this video right here otherwise thanks for watching see you on the next one